Anthony Riley. This is News Now Ohio. I'm talking to you on your comments. Dude, you, sir, are an ignorant twat. You're sitting here trying to tell me <laughs> that how gravity isn't strong enough to hold our atmosphere in. And yet, because molecules are slamming around at 500 um, um, meters per second and it's not strong enough to hold that in what part of air pressure gradient don't you get atmospheric gradient pressure 14.7 psi where we live on earth gradually goes down to zero well near zero since there's no perfect vacuum anthony riley so in real life reality the upper atmosphere that's sitting next to space which is almost a you know a perfect vacuum so near zero is another near zero layer so there's no pressure from our atmosphere pushing out into the void of space, into the emptiness of space that you call it, okay? Just because we say there's a vacuum outside of our atmosphere, there's not a Hoover, a fucking vacuum cleaner sitting on our atmosphere going, bringing and sucking our air out, you fucking idiot, okay? It is 100% near zero PSI near the vacuum of space. In other words, the pressure is the same. Therefore, there will be no rush of atmosphere rushing off into space or no, no, no pressure filling the void because there's no pressure against that void. Now, I'm trying to explain this to you, Anthony Riley, Sleeping Warrior, in the lamiest terms that I can explain it to you in, okay? So, you're not going to get a container with, an air, with a pressure gradient, okay? You're not going to have a sealed container with a pressure gradient. You may have a slight change in pressure, okay? Slight. I heard J.M. Lyer saying how, oh, he saw a video of a guy heating up one end and cooling the other. I saw the same video. It was, the PSI was less than a half a pound of pressure difference between the top and the bottom. And that's with the container sitting in, a, a, sitting in ice and him using a paint heat gun heating up the top to like 1,800 degrees. So... Less than a half of a de, uh, uh, of a uh, pound per square inch, a half a, a half a pound difference. Come on, man, that's not a difference that makes anything. There'll be a slight. There could be a slight gradient in a um, in a pressurized system, but it's so minute that it doesn't matter. Never will one of you flat tards get an enclosed sealed container pressurized with any significant gradient in it. You will not. So keep trying, but you won't. All right? And you and your stupid ass density tower that you stole offline and then did your own shit with, if that was true and you're trying to say that our atmosphere is layered due to density of, of whatever's there, so, hence, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, neon, everything that our atmosphere is made of. You're trying to say that that's how our fucking atmosphere is, dude? Then we're all dead, asshole, because argon is heavier than oxygen, and it would be laying upon, on the surface of the earth, and we'd all be dead. Or, we'd be some crazy, mutated, freaking argon-breathing creatures from, from the Black Lagoon. You know what I'm saying? So what you say don't make no sense, buddy. You need to grow up. Quit being an, an, a, a, you know, a dishonest piece of shit. If you don't understand something, dude, 
nobody's going to hold that against you, Anthony. Just say, hey, this is my, is this, this is my, this is my theory. How, what do you guys think about that? And those of us that know and actually live in reality will explain or to our best of our knowledge what's going on in that situation. We're not going to make up shit and say, oh, gravity don't exist. <laughs> gravity, gravitational attraction is a law. It's not a theory. I'm sick of flat tards saying it's just a theory. It's never been proven. It is a repeatable, measurable phenomenon. We can measure, we can go up repeatedly and drop shit and we can calculate how fast it will it will be before it hits Earth. That is the definition of scientific. So I'm sorry that you don't feel it is, but it is. Just and nothing you say is gonna change that. And I wish all you half ass people that don't know what you're talking about, you flat earth, would quit saying, Oh, it's not a theory, or it's not a fact, it's a theory. No. The the law of gravity it's a law. Gravitational attraction is a law. It's not a theory. Quit saying it's a theory. So, you know, by J.M. Truth's own words, a law, a scientific law is irrefutable, undeniable, and can't be changed. So guess what? By your own words, J.M. Truth, gravity exists. Get over it. Why don't you guys just stop? I'm just so sick of it. Sick of hearing you guys say how every damn photo from space is fake. Come on, guys. It's really starting to get ridiculous. I mean, you're lucky I can't edit very well yet because I would really, I would blast you guys so bad that it's not funny. But, you know, if you want to quit, keep on being a, a disingenuous piece of shit, Anthony and JM, go ahead. But to me, it just makes you guys look bigger fools. The more idiotic shit you post, the bigger of an idiot you look. The more you try to, you you and your second law of thermodynamics that you don't understand, the more you keep misquoting that, the funnier and the harder all of us globetards laugh at your ass. So that's basically all I got to say about that. But this is directly related. D this is directly dry, directly directed to you, Anthony Riley, sleeping dumbass. News now hiles out.